The overall goal of this procedure is to identify kinases that phosphorylate a substrate of interest using high-throughput screening methods. This is accomplished by first transfecting cells with plasmids expressing kinases fused to glutathione S transferase, or GST. The second step is to perform a GST kinase pulldown. Next, the samples are loaded into gels, which are then run and stained with Kumasi Brilliant Blue dye. The final step is to dry the gels and expose them to autoradiography film. Ultimately, by developing and interpreting the resulting films, one is able to identify kinase substrate pairs as each lane is representative of a distinct kinase assay. Existing methods for identifying a kinase for a known phosphorylated substrate include using bioinformatic approaches to search for a consensus site in the substrate, detecting complexes between kinase and substrates using biochemical techniques, and a trial and error approach searching for consensus substrates on the basis of their known biological function. These approaches are time-consuming and do not always meet with success. Our approach permits rapid identification of kinase substrate pairs on the basis of functional outcomes. When we first had the idea for this method, we were concerned that there would be insufficient specificity in vitro. As it turns out, the substrate specificity is excellent, and we often find that only family member kinases are able to phosphorylate a given substrate in the screen. This is particularly evident when we multiplex using multiple substrates in each screen. Demonstrating the procedure will be Courtney, a technician from my laboratory. Begin the procedure with preparation of reagents, plates, and cells as described in the textbook.